Jumbo from Africa. This is Corbin Maxi, and I want to show you behind the scenes of uh, where I'm staying here in the middle of Africa. Of course, in Kenya, the Maasai Mara National Reserve. You know, I've stayed on the outside of the reserve, but we are literally inside the reserve. There's no fences around. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, we're literally here. I mean, we're just in a tent, which is awesome. This is cool. This camp is, this camp is pretty cool. I liked our last camp, but that was just too fancy. You know, that wasn't Africa. This is, you know, where you can get eaten and trampled by an elephant. That's a real camp in Africa. And this is what they have. Fantastic. Okay, we will see you shortly. Uh, having lunch, first day on the Mara. Fantastic. Bam! Okay, first animal on a safari. Nope, it's not a rhino, it's not a lion, it is not a hippo, it is the Cory Bustard. But you know, these are actually really, really cool birds. Matter of fact, they are the heaviest flying bird in the world, even heavier than the California condor, although they rarely fly. Now, unfortunately, these birds, like a lot of other animals, they actually, of course, rely on the grassland. And unfortunately, because of livestock and land overuse, they really are disappearing. Okay, so when something is spotted here, it seems like the whole entire Mara comes alive. These safari vehicles just pop out of nowhere. We had a hippo on land, and you might think, okay, well, there's many, many hippos, but it's pretty neat to see them out, you know, on land during the daytime. Usually they're in water. Of course, they come out, you know, on land at night to graze, but to see them on land now, eh, it's pretty cool, pretty crazy. There has been word that hyenas whoop, have been spotted. You know how much I love hyenas. I can hear them at night, usually and uh, hopefully we're gonna see some members of a clan. We're pretty excited. Okay, so we just spotted, I think probably one of the most fascinating animals in Africa, the spotted hyena. Looks almost like maybe they're patrolling their territory. You know what's so interesting is that they are the number one predator of the wildebeest. Lions prefer them, but the real ones, the real predators that take the biggest toll on the wildebeest are definitely the spotted hyena. Oh, they have a baby. So over there, we have a dick dick. Um, now what's so unique about these mammals, and this is so unique out of all the mammals, is that they are practically monogamous. So usually when you see one dick dick, their mate is usually around. Usually mammals aren't monogamous. I'll try to say that three times. Okay, so up there in the tree, we have a hawk eagle. Now it's very fantastic to see these animals because we very rarely will see them. And they have this awesome correlation with lions. So usually every time you see a hawk eagle, you're bound to see some lions. Where are the lions? <laughs> right behind me, we have lions. The ridge pride. I get so excited when I see the lions. I know people who live here, they're like, yeah, it's another lion, but man, when you see them out in the wild, it's just incredible. Oh my gosh, it's amazing to see this bride. Believe it or not, there are only 20,000 lions left in the wild, the whole of Africa. It's a big misconception that so many people think lions are everywhere. They really aren't. Oh, this is great. Let's get closer. Can we get closer? Closer. Look at that. Okay, this is a young male. Okay, so behind me, Africa's largest antelope. This is the uh, this is the common eland, and they can literally weigh over 2,000 pounds. Now, they might be the biggest antelope, but they actually are the slowest, and so they uh, usually flee from vehicles. So I'm so excited we actually got up close. Hello. Hi. Corbin, nice to meet you. I'm from Idaho. Yes. No, 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 I'm from Idaho. Do you, yeah, nice. You guys, why are you guys leaving? Do I stink? Do I offend? Okay, behind me is one of the main reasons why the Maasai Mara is Africa's number one safari destination. We have a huge herd of wildebeest. 
Now, they, of course, migrate. Um, they go back and forth through the Serengeti Mara ecosystem. And so right now, of course, they're in the Mara. It's around August now. You know, many people think, well, is there a start? Is there an end point? There really is no start end point. They're kind of nomads on really a search, uh, a lifelong search of fresh grasses. Okay, just got word that we're coming up on a male lion. I'm excited. I just placed my bets instead of being a cheetah, and then I found out everyone has better, uh, you know, binoculars than I do. Uh, I actually have binoculars. If this is if this is a male, I'm gonna be so excited. I've never seen a male lion out in the wild. Oh. Okay, I am on cloud nine right now. I have just witnessed my first lion copulation. I, I can't even believe it. We waited here probably for around 15 minutes or so. What's so unique about lions is that the male and the female will spend at least a week together. They won't eat and they'll copulate every 20 minutes or so. Copulation will last, uh, you know, from a few seconds to a minute or so. It kind of just depends on how the male is feeling. Sometimes it can, you know, get tiresome, but uh, it's fantastic. And you know, they actually say for each cub born, over 2,000 copulations have to happen. So it's just fantastic. Whew. Go lions. Okay, we are on top of Lookout Hill. Today was absolutely fantastic. We saw so many birds of prey. We saw several lions. We actually just witnessed a copulation. Bam! So exciting. Uh, the Mara is just breathtaking. Every time I come here, and I act, I act like I come here all the time, my second time being here, it's just taking my breath away. There's something about this place. There's literally no wonder it's Africa's number one safari destination. And to think the adventure has just begun. Whew.